but slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel Yo, like. what's up? We're here in Iceland. I just started my seven day ring road trip. This is the first stop, Schnellenfoss waterfall. It's gonna be an epic week. Uh, I got a, a camper van, can't wait. Let's go check this out. All right, we already got a rainbow. We're starting our first stop, Schneldenfoss waterfall. The cool thing with this waterfall is you can walk behind it, and I could not have gotten luckier. A perfect day to do this and get perfect footage. Let's go. Look at this. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Full rainbow. Insane. directly behind the waterfall right now and if you can see the trail right here it wasn't that hard to walk it's it only takes a couple minutes but it does get you will get wet you will get wet it is very slippery but it's fucking awesome oh man that just got me so pumped up that was awesome so like i said day one seven day ring road adventure it's gonna be amazing all right waterfall number two of day one skoga foss this one's unreal i actually have been to iceland one other time it was in the winter and i came here and it was so freaking cold out that I ran up, took a bunch of photos for like five minutes and got the hell out of here. So I was like, hey, I need to come back during the summer uh, to get better footage. And so far today is like the day that I dreamed it would be when I came here, just an unbelievable day. Let's go check this bad boy out. It's pretty, it's pretty epic. <laughs> All right, so Skogafoss has a spot where you can walk literally right up to it and almost almost touch this waterfall, and then you can hike all the way up to the top. So we're gonna do, for, do both. Let's start on the bottom first. More rainbows. This one's awesome. I might get a little bit closer. It's so big. Magic. So cool. And it's like right off this black sand gravel that we're gonna see all over Iceland that looks so sick. And then it's got this little this little lake over here. Just this little stream just rolling in. Fucking Skoga Foss, let's go. Alright, let's do the hike to the top. Do the hike. This is not really what I want to be doing right now, but oh god, I almost fell. But the view from up there looks sick, so let's go check it out. I'm already huffing and puffing. I think I'm gonna start an elevator company in Iceland because this thing could use one out here. Pretty dope. I guess if you come back here, there's a few more waterfalls to check out. So I'm just gonna kind of cruise through. Kind of like what feeds in to Skosafoss. So check it out. Yeah. So awesome. The plane crash site, which is one of the coolest things in Iceland, is two miles this way. They said it's an hour. I need to get this thing done in like 30 minutes. Let's move. All 
Uh, I made it. This is pretty awesome. If you look around here, it's like freaking Mars. It's like, if you're coming over in the sky, maybe you got shot down or your engine went out, you need a place to land. This is it. This is freaking it. So that was pretty awesome. The walk was like 40 minutes, so the kid was right on. It was like 35, 40, I was right in that area. That, that's pretty dope that I got to do this today. This has been one of the ones that's been like on my list of things to see. And the crazy thing is, I drove by it. And then I was like, why were all those cars in that parking lot? There must have been, was that the plane site maybe? Pulled over, looked it up, it was for the win. Heading to Vic, let's go. While we're walking, if you could do me a favor, press the subscribe button. What's up? You think I'm stopping in Iceland? No freaking way. Subscribe. You see that epic sunset? unreal so check this out check this out so i came here during the winter this is black beach uh it's right next to vic and we parked right here right at the first spot it was rainy it was a kind of like a rainy snowy day and the minute we pulled into this spot right here ba -da 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 -da, like a gust of wind came blew a bunch of rocks and sand at our car. I was with two girls. They start freaking out. Get me out of here. Ah! And we left. We didn't, even, we didn't even go walk over here. So I'm glad I'm getting to go over here today. Look at that sun. Got here just before sunset. Let's go check it out. That's why they call it Black Sand Beach. So here I am in this cave in Black Sand Beach. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's unreal. It's perfect timing. The sunset's going on right now. This is like a really kind of famous piece of it is the way these columns come down. It looks better when you get a picture from, from deep out. And then if you look at the waves right now, these waves, like there's warnings everywhere that the current here is so bad and the waves will creep up on you. Like so many people have died out here, so be careful, but so beautiful. It's got like a, uh, in the background over here. Uh, I actually tried to drive over there, but it shut off for the, uh, the puffin birds. So they won't let you in there right now, but it's beautiful. And just the view from here is probably even better, so. Yeah, this place is magnificent. Beautiful. So I just got to Vic and the first thing I did was check out the church. There's a road that comes right in between two mountains. And so you can see the whole town as you're coming down. The first thing you see is the church at the top of it. And then from here, the view is spectacular. I can see where the campsite is over here. And uh, so I think the main thing I need to do right now is get some rest. It's literally 9.45 going on 10 p.m. at night here in Iceland. I'm starving. I think for now, that's it for the night. Um, hey, with that being said, if you could like, comment, subscribe. For those of you who've been watching, I'm so freaking grateful. Thank you so much. See you soon.